You're listening to Ram Jam Radio with DJ Gloss. Now, yesterday uh, evening, I finally got to uh, do the interview with Lisa Taylor, which was completely my fault because I managed to uh, damage my back and uh, miss out for a week on doing that particular interview. And um, we spoke for quite some time. She's such a lovely, lovely lady. I'm going to bring that interview to you now. This is the delightfully lovely Lisa Taylor. Hello, is that Lisa? Hi. Hi, how are you doing? It's DJ Gloss here from London, Ram Jam Radio. How are you doing? Hi, Glossy. How are you feeling? How are you doing? Well, I'm doing a lot better now than I was last week, and I must apologise um. for <laughs> not making it to the interview this time last week because of uh, a little issue I have with my back, which has taken me a week to get over. But uh, I'm here now, fighting fit, and I can't wait to speak to you. I'm so glad you're feeling better. I've been looking forward to talking to you. Well, it's um, I'm afraid it's uh, sort of been a long time coming, but there is an added advantage because it's allowed us to play some more of your wonderful music. So rather than us featuring, say, 10 of your tracks, we've actually been able to feature all of the 14 that you sent us, which uh, has been absolutely lovely. And um, the DJ that's been standing in for me, uh, while I've not been able to um, DJ, has uh, been playing your tracks as well, and he loves them too. So there you go. And the reaction from our listeners is great as well. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you so much. No problem at all. Thank you so much for all of your support. It's really been amazing. Uh, well, we, we love supporting you. Hopefully you've uh, heard some of the mini-casts, and of course um, we'll, we'll be sending out, out a mini-cast of this interview as well so that you can have a listen, um, send it to your fans, let them have a listen to uh, you being interviewed here in London, which is uh, lovely for us and hopefully lovely for you too. My first interview with the UK, and I, uh, gosh, I'm... Really, really excited. <laughs> As you can probably tell. <laughs> That's brilliant. We love that. Do, do you mind if I uh, ask you a few questions through uh, sort of uh, how things began, really? That's my first question, is sort of how did it all start for you in, in singing and in music? I wonder if you could explain a little bit about that for us. How did I start in music? Yeah, where, where did it all start with you? Um, well, I just... From what my mom and dad say, I was, they started singing before I could talk, just singing, kind of humming in my crib, and uh, my first real song was when you the I started singing that when I was a baby. Excellent. <laughs> and, uh, it's just from a pretty musical house. They were always playing a lot of music. There was um, a lot of theater my mom was involved in, so I just just have a, had a natural love for music. I started singing along with different musicals we want to film and music they would play at home. So it just kind of came naturally. So, sounds good to me. So so who were your idols? Who were your role models in music when you were young then? Gosh, when I was, when I was a little girl, um, my first was actually Liza Minnelli. We started watching, we watched a lot of musicals, cabaret and things like that. Yes. And that uh, as I got a little older, and she was my my first singer that I tried to emulate and and but really looked up to and and followed and, and just admired incredibly. Yes. And uh, it got older. It was Prince, and it's still Prince. I love Prince. <laughs> so Prince and Whitney it. Houston. Well, that's that's not that's not a bad place to uh, to have your idols, really, is it? Let's face it. I mean. Uh, some some wonderful influences there, really. That's excellent. That's excellent. So, living in Hawaii, tell me something about that, because, you know, there's probably very few people listening um, to today's interview that have ever been to Hawaii. So can you tell me something about it? Yeah, my story is actually pretty interesting, because I... Excuse me. I'm adopted, so I was actually born in Los Angeles, 
and uh, my mom came and picked me up when I was fresh out of the hospital, so I flew back to the big aunt. I had a pretty big old baby, so um, I flew back home at two days old, so Hawaii is all I know until now that I've moved back to California, and um, it was definitely a unique place to grow up. I have a, all the kids in my family are adopted, so we have a multiracial family, and um, so it was just a neat place to grow up because of just all the many cultural influences. We have people from all over the world. It's, it's definitely a different place to grow up, and uh, just growing up in a beautiful place and a unique family and just, you know, having, having them nurture what I love doing. I mean, there are so many families that and I find out that kids want to go into art or a little bit hesitant about it, but my family was always just extremely supportive, and because of that, I was able to go in the direction that I, I am still going in in my life. And I've, I've lived in California for eight years, but Hawaii will always be home. Um, and uh, as a matter mm-hmm. of fact, I'm getting married next week, so we're going home to Hawaii in a few days and uh, going to get married where I grew up. You know, it'll always be home. So you're going to get married next week. Wow, how lovely is yeah. that? <laughs> That's excellent. There we go. I hope you're not performing at your own wedding. I hope you have a performer to do no. that. No. <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> the pipes are getting a rest for a week. <laughs> so, sounds about right, too. What a beautiful place to get married, though. I mean, I've only ever seen it on pictures, but it's, um, it, it's such a beautiful place. And, um, wow, how lovely is that? Well, congratulations from everybody at Ram Jam Radio and all of our listeners because we weren't, we weren't aware of that. So um, oh, that's, that's amazing. Congratulations from us. That's great. Thank you so much. You're, Thank you're, you. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a giddy little girl. Over here. I'll probably write some more Missy Love songs over there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, dear. We, um, I'm just looking uh, through some tweets that came between us, uh, between Ram Jam Radio and yourself last week, and you describe Shy Girl as your sassy tune. I wonder if you, <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if you could tell us a little bit about that. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, man. Um, you would, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> There's no obligation. Yeah, shy Girl. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny with, with performers, people assume, oh, you, you're just so brave and there's no way you can be shy about anything. You're up on stage. And, but, I mean, like with this interview, I've been so nervous to do this. I mean, with singing up on stage, that's a little different. Um, in other areas of my life, I can be a little shy. So that was kind of my sassy... Um, <laughs> I know you better watch out. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> and yeah, so it's always interesting for my fiance when I write these songs because we, we play them live, and I always think, I, I wonder if he's just back uh, here cringing, like, oh God, <laughs> every man he knows this song is about me. <laughs> so, but yeah, that's, that's my sassy little, uh, oh, that's my that's sassy great. little sexy song. Oh, that sounds really good. And, and as my producer tweeted back to you, she said, we don't mind a bit of sassy too. So that's great. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you for sharing that with us. That's, that's really great. <laughs> so um, uh, just looking at your album releases, you, you released LT in uh, 2010 and um, uh, you released uh, Let Love Shine this year, which was a January release. And um, I just wanted to make sure, actually on air I announced it, and then I thought, well, I better make sure that that's openly available here in the UK as well. And uh, so I I had a look, and uh, it was right there with LT on iTunes, so fully downloadable um, and, and purchasable by all the listeners here in the UK. Um, and, and as I said, it's been well received. But um, so, tell us a little bit about uh, "Let Love Shine." Um, you know, tell us a little bit about uh, the album, its production, uh, anything you want to tell us. Really, be, be lovely to know. Uh, Let Love Shine. Um, we're so proud of the album. 
LP, we were really proud of LP. We, um, that was the first album that I had. There's actually a lot of LP. I wrote all of the songs on there myself, and it's the first experience I've had in actually writing complete songs, getting them out, actually recording them, releasing them. So this has been a whole new experience for me. So when we got to uh, Let Love Shine, um, there are a bunch of songs on there I wrote. There are a bunch of songs that I co-wrote with or um, with my producer. He goes by Rocking Chair Frank. And there are a few songs on there that he wrote completely. Um, we just tried to learn from the LT and what we wanted to elevate on this one, what we wanted to change, what we wanted to do a little different. And um, I just feel like the writing is even better and we've got a lot more live instrumentation on there. And just the concept of the album of just Let Love Shine, you know, I've got a couple songs on there that are a little on the more emotional side, but for the most part, everything on there is just super positive and happy, and it really reflects where I am in my life now, um, just being really happy and feeling very positive about everything and, and having love in my life and just realizing that things are just really good. I, I have a great life, a great family, great friends, and just really wanted to reflect that and just it's more of a kind of a feel-good album with a lot of happy songs on it. Um, yes. So that's where we're at, you know. That sounds great. That sounds great. And um, you're doing doing very well here in, in the uh, in the soul charts. I, I noticed that you're charted here at the moment. And I was speaking to uh, another DJ from uh, another radio station that I'm not allowed to mention on air. Um, but um, he he said. When I when I said I was interviewing you today, he 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 sort of said, "Oh yeah, Lisa Taylor," and he, he sort of went through a couple of your tunes. So you know, the, oh my goodness, yep. Yeah, so other DJs uh, are knowing about you and, and playing you too. So you, you know, here in the UK, it's growing, and you, and you're charted in the soul charts, which is wonderful. And um, you know, oh, absolutely great, absolutely great. Um, I'm just so grateful. I really, really am. I mean, this is just, I've been doing this for so many years, and this is just fantastic. I mean, I'm so happy, and I, I hope you guys all know that I'm just extremely grateful for your support. I really, really am. And we're extremely grateful for your beautiful music, and um, that, that's, that's absolutely lovely. Uh, so, so what are you working on now, Lisa? Uh, if I'm not taking up too much of your time, what, what, what's no, in no. the pipeline right now? What, what, what are you working on? Apart from getting married, of course, which is probably taking up quite <laughs> a bit of your time. Um, well, I'm just, uh, as an independent artist, obviously, I'm, it's a lot of do-it-yourself. Um, so I've just really been trying to put myself out there, which is another thing that's different for me now. I, I've always just, just being an artist and having that self-doubt and that feeling of, am I good enough? Should, are people going to like what I do? Especially when you write it, it's like putting your heart out there for everyone to examine and you just don't know how it's going to go. And with this album, I'm kind of going, you know, all I can do is try. So I'm just trying to do the best to promote myself and send the album around to different people and um, you know, do gigs, try to sell my CD at gigs, and I'm just trying to get a little better on the social networking. You guys have helped me with the Twitter, so I'm, just, I'm, I'm getting a little better. Um, just trying to promote, and we're, we're going to start writing stuff for the next album, and my band that I perform with live every week, um, it's actually going to be all live instrumentation for the next one. This one still has the tracks that we work with, um, so it's going to be really exciting because we'll have even more freedom to just go all out, do what we want to do, and I'm thinking of something maybe a little more funky next time. So Sounds good. I listen to so many different kinds of music that I am influenced by a lot of different things. So it might have the same kind of sound, but you know, it might be a little different. You just never know. So. Sounds absolutely great. I, I was just looking actually on your website. Um, you've got quite a lot going on. I see you've got um, this weekend. You've got a um, a trio with uh, Bob Burnett and, um, and and Steve Robertson. Uh, as I see that, and uh, 
then there's a little bit of a gap because I guess that's because you're getting married. Um, and, uh, and then you're, you're back out in April um, on the 14th. I see you've got a gig uh, there. Um, the, uh, oh, that's, that's the release show for Let Love Shine. There you go. There you go. Yes. Wonderful. So you're, you're keeping busy. That's, what, that's, that's absolutely great. Just wonderful to see. And I see where we, we even got Ram Jam Radio mentioned there on your page. How wonderful is that? Yay. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. So I'll be putting all the I'll be putting all the mini casts on there. Um, I've been a little bit behind on my website just because there's been so much going on, but I definitely have some gigs to put on there. And um, we'll be doing Record Store Day here in April at one of our local uh, awesome radio, uh, record stores downtown, Street Light Records. So that's really support record stores and keep them alive keep them going and uh, so we've got a lot of fun stuff coming up a lot of cool stuff that sounds really great and uh, and and looking in the future in the next couple of years have you got any sort of big plans or any sort of big aspirations that you 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 want in the next couple of years that you like to tell our Ram Jam listeners uh, all about oh gosh Um, it would be really nice to just It'd be, well, first of all, it'd be nice to come to the UK and do some shows and meet all of you guys and uh, thank you in person for all of your help. This has been fantastic. And, uh, you know, if I would love to get to the point with my music. I'll never give up the dream of getting to go out and tour around and have people know my music and appreciate my music, even if it's, you know, I would love to do it on the independent artist scale, go and playing smaller places around. Um, and just spreading my music around. I want people to know my music. And I'd love to do shows where I show up and people know the words they sing along. Yes. Um, and, or if that doesn't happen, you know, if I could get a gig singing with Prince or Justin Timberlake, you know, that would be fantastic. I'm just putting that out there. <laughs> well, we're seriously <laughs> looking forward to it. in harmony. <laughs> 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 If you're if you're um, releasing any singles or albums, Ram Jam Radio would love to know about it so that we can uh, get behind you because we love your music. Um, and if you're coming to the UK, let us know because uh, I know two people from the Ram Jam Breakfast crew they're going to be sitting right in the front row watching you. <laughs> <laughs> You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you so so much. No problem. Well, hopefully one of these days. <laughs> <laughs> there, was, um, there was one more thing that I always ask when I do an interview, and that is if you could do for me a little drop. A little, my name's Lisa Taylor, and when I'm in London, I listen to DJ Gloss on Ram Jam Radio, or something like that. It doesn't have to be that long, but if you could say that for me, and then I can use it as a drop during my shows, because I love to drop the, uh, the the conversation from my artists. Most definitely. So, uh, we are listening to DJ Gloss on Ram Jam Radio. That sounds Okay, great. let me start off. Okay. Okay. This is Lisa Taylor, and you're listening to Ram Jam Radio, the awesome DJ Gloss. That is brilliant. Thank you so much. That that will just work beautifully. <laughs> that will just work beautifully. Um, before I let you go, because I'm conscious we've taken up lots of your precious time, um, and I know you've got a wedding next week. Congratulations for that, and, and hopefully so everything will go fantastically, seamlessly, and wonderfully for you in beautiful Hawaii. Um, but if there's anything else you'd like to tell the listeners here in the UK, uh, please feel free to do so. Thank you so much. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, I'll send you some pictures. I'll post you some pictures in a little hippy beach wedding. And, uh, <laughs> wonderful. It's going to be wonderful. That's great. Well, you have a, a wonderful wedding, and it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you and uh, Little Jam Radio here in London, and, uh, you know, because we'd love to keep in touch with you. Thank you very much. The wonderful Lisa Taylor, everybody. Thank you so much, and, and thank you for giving my first 
I had my first interview with London, and uh, this is huge for me. This is super, super exciting. I thank you so much. It's our pleasure. Thank you very much indeed. You have a lovely day because I know it's only early there. Um, it's, it's evening time here, but have a wonderful, blessed day. You too, Glossy. Have a great one. Have a great day. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Lisa. Take care now. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. There you go, the wonderful Lisa Taylor. It was just so lovely to interview her and uh, talk to her about all the sorts of things that were going on. And I didn't even know that she was getting married, which was absolutely wonderful. So next week, congratulations from everybody here at Ram Jam Radio for Lisa Taylor. She's getting married in Hawaii. Wow. And I'm going to play this tune of hers. This is Shake What Your Mama Gave You. Wonderful Lisa Taylor, our featured artist for this week. Been wonderful featuring her and uh, all of what we've done uh, tune-wise with Lisa and the interview will all be available on Minicast. So check out my Facebook and um, check out Ram Jam Radio as well on their Facebook Ram Jam stream and uh, it will all be there for you to listen to again. Wonderful Lisa Taylor. Thank you so much.